Hey everyone, it's Leanne. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my August wrap up. So August was going to be the month that I read my 500 plus page books. I had two trilogies planned along with reading the first half of Dune and I had a couple other books I had sprinkled in there. Didn't quite make the cut that I planned on getting to. I read five books in total and let's see what they were. First up was Hummus and Homicide by Tina Cashian. This is the first book in the Kebab Kitchen Mystery series. This book is about a woman named Lucy who leaves her Philadelphia law firm and winds up coming back to Ocean Crest, New Jersey to spend time with her family and winds up working in her family's Mediterranean restaurant. It's a cozy mystery, so a murder takes place, she has to help solve it, and it goes on from there. This is the first in the series of five books. This is going to be the Killing Time with Cozy's read-along book from now until December, and I gave this book three stars. Next up is Dune by Frank Herbert. This is a book I was buddy reading with several women who really, like myself, don't really read a lot of sci-fi, so we gave ourselves August and September to get the book done. I very surprisingly read this in nine days listened and read in nine days, and I rated this four stars. We are doing a live show discussing this book on my channel with a resident YouTube uh, Frank Herbert expert. So if you wanna watch that, it's gonna be Sunday, September 5th at 3 p.m. Eastern time. The third book I finished was Ropes, Riddles, and Robberies by Tanya Kappas. This is number 15 in the Camper and Criminal series. In this book, Mae West goes back to her hometown to investigate the death of her family. Um, and along the way, she goes with the Laundry Club ladies and they try to get to the bottom of what really happened to her family. At first, I really didn't think I was gonna like this one because I didn't like the direction we were going with this storyline, but in the end, I wound up giving it four stars. The fourth book I finished was Jade City by Fonda Lee. This is the first book in the Green Bone Saga. Um, this is a magical fantasy epic saga around like an Asian inspired mafia godfather where the gem jade gives power to certain people and several different clans fighting over the jade and control of this area. I believe it was called Kekin. Anyway, there's like drag out war that goes on in this book and I cannot wait for the second one. And the fifth book that I read was The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. This is the first book in the Gentleman Bastard sequence. And I already knew I was going to love this before I started reading it. I love the Gentleman Bastard type of scenario. I like heist, con men, thief type of books. I just, I'm reading this coming off of watching the second season of Lupin on Netflix. That's just like the style I like to read and watch. So when this like legendary con artist, master thief book uh, came into my acknowledgement, I couldn't wait to read it. I'm very much looking forward to reading the second one and I gave this four stars. It was actually 3.75, I bumped it up. I did read and listen to this and the the narrator, while he was good, he's just so over the top at some points when it didn't need to be. That kind of just irked me, but just a small percentage off. So that's it. That's all that I read. Not as much as I thought. I actually thought I would finish the three books in the Gentleman Bastard sequence. I also thought I would finish all three of the Greenbone Saga books. That didn't happen. 
they're not they just didn't make it to my September TBR but I will try to get them done during the rest of the year please let me know if you've read any of these books I would love to talk about any of them and until next time I'll see you So August was going to be the month that I read my 500 page. Blah, blah. We have a uh, resident YouTube expert, motherfucker.